Let's look at another practice problem. Uh, we will talk about profitability position of a business in this uh, uh, practice problem. We have a profit and loss account here uh, with all the relevant details and we will work out various indicators of profitability position. The first indicator of the profitability position is the gross profit ratio. The gross profit ratio is simply the gross profit divided by sales multiplied by 100. So gross profit here is 115,000, 1,15,000 divided by sales which are 4 lakhs multiplied by 100. So all you have to do is to uh, do the calculations. I'll use my calculator for this 115 divided by 400 gives me 28.75 this is the gross margin at which this business is operating so done the first ratio is uh, has been calculated the next ratio is called operating ratio the operating ratio is a ratio of the operating cost and the sales of the business what is operating cost? The operating cost is equal to cost of goods sold plus the operating expenses, the indirect expenses which are operating in nature. Then what are cost of goods sold? Cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses minus the closing stock. Alternatively, you can also figure out cost of goods sold by deducting gross profit from sales. We can use both these methods to verify our uh, numbers as well. So let's just figure out cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock which is 60,000 plus the purchases 275,000 plus direct expenses which are wages 25,000 minus the closing stock which is 75 and you should you know by the way by now you will know where this content uh, is that's what I'm assuming so this gives you uh, a total of how much this is 275 this is 3 lakhs 3 lakhs and uh, 60,000 minus 75 this is 285,000 and if you want to use the other way then you have sales which is 400,000 minus the gross profit gross profit is 115 115,000 so this gives you again 285,000 as the cost of the goods which are sold during the year now you need to uh, look at the operating expenses. What are the operating expenses during the year in addition to cost of goods sold? The operating expenses will include administrative expenses, selling and distribution, office expenses and then you have non-operating. So we are only considering this much. So this comes out to be 60,000. Operating expenses are 60,000. So let's now figure out the operating ratio which is equal to cost of the goods sold 285000 plus the other uh, operating expenses divided by the sales which is 4 lakhs multiplied by 100 that's it so i'll just use my calculator for this this is 285 plus 6 uh, 60 divided by 400 so this is 86% 86.25%. What does this mean? This means 86.25% of my revenue goes into my operating expenses only. Right? Uh, earlier, I uh, calculated 28.75% uh, uh, as the gross profit ratio, which meant we had a gross margin of 28%. Now we're looking at operating cost. Our operating cost is 86% of the sales. Let us look at the third ratio, which is the operating profit ratio. Operating profit ratio is nothing but sales minus the operating cost. Sales minus operating cost gives you the operating profit. And you divide it by 
the sales again to figure out the operating profit ratio. So it's, it's, it is going to be equal to uh, 1 minus the operating ratio which is this. Therefore, our operating profit ratio uh, comes out to be 13.75. Our operating profit is 13.75%. The gross profit was, sorry, gross profit was 28%. The operating profit is 13.75%. Let's look at what our net profit uh, ratio is. So number four, net profit ratio is equal to net profit divided by sales into 100 of course. Sales is 400,000 net profit is what we need to look at. Net profit given 50,000. So 50,000 divided by 4 lakhs into 100 uh, it gives you uh, how much it comes out to be 1 by 8 12.5%. 12.5% is the net profit ratio. Now you started with 28%, the gross profit ratio was 28% and then your uh, operating profit ratio went down to 13.75% and now your net profit ratio is 12.5%. So uh, I hope you know, logically it makes sense as well. From gross profit you pay some expenses and you have operating profit. And then you pay non-operating expenses and finally you have net profit. So whenever you're doing these calculations, also look at, you know, if all these ratios together make sense, do they support each other in terms of your calculations so that, you know, you not made any mistake. You should be able to identify if mistake has been made. So uh, these are the profitability ratios. Other than this, of course, there are return on investment, return on capital employed, uh, EPS and you know number of other ratios that can be calculated but uh, we do not have information uh, to answer those uh, questions. You could uh, uh, yeah you could figure out EBIT but that's not profitability position of the business. So I think we are uh, for now we are set we can answer these many questions uh, from the data which is provided to us. So are we in a good profitability position or not? Uh, can be based upon the industry standards. Uh, right now, you could answer only these many questions. All right, I'll see you uh, in the next video.